Fort Hood soldiers told that Christians. Tea Party is a radical terror threat I was very shocked and couldn't believe what I was hearing Paul Joseph Watson and Paris.com October 24, 2013 image, Wikimedia comments during a pre-deployment briefing. Fort Hood soldiers were told that Christians, Tea Party supporters and anti-abortion activists were a radical terror threat, enemies of America, and that anyone found to be supporting these groups would be subject to discipline under the Uniform Code of Military Justice. That's the explosive claim from a soldier who attended the half-hour briefing which took place on October 17 and was devoted to how so-called radical groups were tearing the country apart, the soldier told Fox News, adding that the threat of Islamic terrorism was barely even mentioned, despite the fact that another soldier confirmed that threats of punishment were made during the meeting, an official Fort Hood representative denied the allegations. I was very shocked and couldn't believe what I was hearing, the soldier said. I felt like my religious liberties, that I risk my life and sacrifice time away from family to fight for, were being taken away, according to the soldiers. The counterintelligence agent who conducted the briefing also said that Christians who protest against abortion were planning to bomb family planning clinics and that the prolif movement was an example of radicalization. The American public should be outraged that the U.S. Army is teaching our troops that evangelical Christians and Tea Party members are enemies of America and that they can be punished for supporting or participating in those groups. Liberty Institute attorney Mike Berry told Fox News, These statements about evangelicals being domestic enemies are a serious charge. Our community is still healing from the act of terrorism brought on by Nidal Hassan, who really is a terrorist. The unnamed soldier added, this is a slap in the face. The military is supposed to defend freedom and to classify the vast majority of the military that claim to be Christian as terrorists is sick. This is by no means the first time that U.S. Army toppers as well as sectors of the federal government have identified Christians and other conservatives as terrorists. Earlier this month, it emerged that several dozen active duty and reserve troops at Camp Shelby in Mississippi were taught that the American Family Association, a well-respected Christian ministry, was a domestic hate group. Alex Jones' 2001 documentary film 9-11, The Road to Tyranny featured footage from AFEMA symposium given to firefighters and other emergency personnel in Kansas City in which it was stated that the Founding Fathers, Christians and homeschoolers were terrorists and should be treated with the utmost suspicion and brutality in times of national emergency.